What I find really fascinating about stone circles in the UK, like Stonehenge and Avebury, are things like, you know, why they were built and how they were built. There were no kind of books or writing left behind, and it's just this ultimate kind of mystery that just sits in the landscape. And so every time I go to these places, I'm just, um, I just think about the potential that humans have. I think about the, you know, what it means to be experiencing this kind of mystery, and I'm I'm left to you know gather my own thoughts and then decide how I want to see them. You know, because there is no signpost telling me exactly what this was built for apart from some suggestions or maybe scattered evidence here and there so that's that's what i find really fascinating about these places is that people were left to bring their own imagination to it um and you know it's a it's a stark contrast to you know just the built environment in modern day society where you know i, I will see a building and i will get i kind of get the gist of things and i know that that building it was used is used for an office so yeah so just by having this this presence that um you know evokes new meanings just really drives my curiosity so that's what i um so so that's a big inspiration for my work and um you know from that i just wanted to you know figure out okay how can i take some of these ideas and translate it into the artworks like the ceramic sculptures that i create so really i'm just thinking about okay um how can i make artworks that um invite curiosity that invite imagination and um and new ways of seeing and experiencing yeah so when i make my ceramic sculptures um i usually start by throwing uh simple shapes on the potter's wheel uh like cylinders and cones and then what i do is um i let those then dry up um, I then take them off the wheel and then I will cut them and uh, and join them together uh, to create these open sculptural forms um, so I'm always with these sculptural forms I'm always looking for a um, an open space or space that can lead the eye to the inside and outside um, so that's why I create these the these forms. I will then uh, bisque fire them. Uh, I will refine them with sandpaper uh, just to smooth them down, um, and then I will apply uh, vitreous slips, uh, which which is just kind of like paint, and then I apply that to the surface of the form by spraying it directly on top. Um, and I will then use masking tape uh, to create line and pattern and uh and then after that i will then uh fire it again in the kiln uh and i'll usually do multiple firings to um control the application of color and to build up different layers of color uh, after which I'll then apply a clear glaze um, either to the outside or the inside or both. Uh, so it really depends on the form.
a lot of my um, kind of research and ideas um, related to my artworks um, come from looking at these kind of places like Stonehenge and Avebury and um, and they're just you know they're just so fascinating to come to and, and, and see in person because you just realize the potential of humans that we have to create these kind of places and, you know why did people come and, and build these places what was it what was it that was important for people to come together you know, in communities and and build these monuments you know, was it for spiritual religious practice was it for a sense of community was it to respond to nature or respond to the stars the planets Yeah, so, uh, so why did you come to, uh, to see the Avery Stone Circle? Um, I come here quite a lot because it's a very, usually very peaceful place. <laughs> um, lots of history going back five, six, seven thousand years. Yeah. It's lovely to see the stones. There's yeah. something, I hate to say, but there is something magical about the place. We were, so, we were always so kind of limited and confined to particular spaces. Oh, you, you know, you work in this job, so therefore you're this person, yeah. and you can't you know, go off and, and do this thing. Everyone's, you know, you know what I mean? Everyone's got their kind of place in yeah. society, and I think that's what I really like about these places because you let go of that kind of structure. Everybody's very open here as well. If you've ever come to um, Avery uh, on a solstice or a cross cross quarter day, mm. there's lots of druids, lots of people from different yeah. parts of society, and they're all very chatty and open. And yeah. they, you, you have that sense of connectedness that you're all yeah. you're all connected together. Yeah. And um, the, um, you know, we've been, we've just been wondering. We haven't been here long, have we? And how many conversations have we had from literally from there to yeah. there? Um, because people are just, uh, you know, like you say, there's mm. no confines. Yeah. They're very open. Yeah. Um, when, when, yeah. when they are interested, they ask you questions, so it's open their mind. And yeah. this is the way to go, to yeah. heal more the earth, you know, open your mind, to connect with everything around us. That's a really good thing about yeah. these kind of places, because, you know, people can just do that. We're all here for similar reasons, because we want to experience this place. And, and I guess, you know, one way of, you know, engaging with that place is also to, to, talk, to talk to other people about, you know, other people's experiences. Yeah, so what do stone circles mean for you? Uh, feel free to leave a comment and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, uh, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.